Hi. <laughs> She's Regina. I'm Regina. <laughs> and we have a special guest, Piper, today. And today we wanted to tell you a little bit about our trip to Champaign and recommend uh, Champaign, Illinois, and recommend the place that we stayed, uh, D&W. Lake. Lake. RV. 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 Nope. D&W Lake Campground and RV. Got There's it. There's a lake in there. There's a oh, lake. Said, okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, which is a fantastic place. It's like a, I describe it as an oasis in the middle of, um, you know, farm country, basically, uh, which was a really pretty setting too. The the, um, the farmland around was very pretty, cool old barns and, and different things like that. But the campground itself was completely surrounded by uh, trees and there's a beautiful lake uh, towards the front of the property, a trail around the lake and um, lots of fire pits and little chairs by the lake where you could go and have a picnic or, you know, have a fire in the evening or that sort of thing. Um, lots of, I think, I think every spot was a pull through spot and they were pretty spacious. Um, uh, but yeah, it was a, it was a really great place. We loved being there. We had originally thought about booking two weeks in Champaign. And when we pulled in there, we were kind of sad that we didn't because it was just, it was really cool. Um, and Piper, what did you like about D&W? One of my favorite things were walking around the lake and going down by the dock and there was a little place you could go down and sit at the water. And there was a playground with swings and a little rope you could climb up. And me, my two brothers and my little sister like to go to it. Every morning before we start school, we would go and play. Yes, it was great. You, I think they also had kayak rentals. We did not um, use that amenity, but they had kayak rentals and it looks like great fishing um, in the pond. So I just, I was very impressed. I, it's somewhere I would go back and stay for a month. Oh, it yeah. was simple. It had just what you need. Picnic table at every site, fire pit at every site, firewood that you could get. Um, the owners, um, Matt, and I cannot think of his wife's name, were very kind and they must have a garden in their backyard because there was a tub that would have fresh vegetables and we actually use those a couple times in our in our meals um so that was that was really nice and they have i mean it's just the feel of the campground is like a neighborhood um it's just really nice and the pull through on I, there might have been a back end site here or there but they most yeah. most of them look like pull through and half of them faced or overlooked the lake which ours did, which was really nice. We, uh, when we've been traveling around, we have yet, that was our first uh, spot where we actually, uh, you know, we have a big, um, uh, the window in our living room that you look out of, uh, it had actually the, the beautiful uh, view this time of the lake and the trees. So it was the first time that we've had the, the good view on the front of the camper and not the back or the side or whatever. Uh, so that was really cool. I also loved it because it was like three miles from my sister, which is one of the reasons why we were visiting the Champagne area. But there's a ton of great stuff to do in Champagne and in the nearby uh, area. We, we could have easily stayed another week or two. Uh, but some of the things that we did do, we went to um, Hardy's Reindeer Ranch. That was probably one of the big draws. Yes. yes. Yeah, they had a amazing corn maze uh huge we spent a couple of hours almost no i guess we spent a little hour and a half hour and a half in it and we didn't we didn't complete the whole thing it, it, um, you have objectives inside of it you have to find and we didn't complete the whole thing but they also have real reindeer there and a great little um shop and they do um hay rides and all sorts of stuff so that was a great place hardy's reindeer ranch that's in Rantoul, I think, yes. which is not far from, from Champaign. It was about 15 minutes from the campground. And then you took the kids one day to... Curtis Orchard. Yes. I took the kids to Curtis Orchard. We wanted to go pick apples. <laughs> so many cats. What did you say, Piper? <laughs> so many cats. I wanted to So many Brody. cats. Yes. So what um, Curtis Orchard, they have a wonderful shop that sells like apple, apple donuts that they make there. Um, we apple went, cider. two of the girls went and picked um, apples, Piper and Grace, because that's something unique that uh, being from Florida, we don't get to do. So that was really neat. Um, and they tell you what types of apples they have that day for picking. Cider is there, um, just a great little gift shop in general. Um, and cats, <laughs> tons of cats. And I think they actually, they microchip them, they fully vaccinate them, and then you can adopt them. So um, very friendly cats, my kids love them. Um, also they have goats, so take a quarter 
you get to put a quarter in a machine and get a handful of goat food and that obviously is always a good time um, and that was just a, a nice little um, afternoon out about 15 minutes again away from the campground yeah some of the other local places that are pretty cool we visited Allerton Park and it's um, it's got a bunch of trails and um, botanical um, gardens and uh, manor house and you can stay out there there's an inn there but the grounds are really beautiful, beautiful. Um, lots of trails and stuff like that uh, there's also uh, Kickapoo State Park we didn't get out there this time but I've been out there before it's a great place and then several um, vineyards uh, Sleepy Creek Vineyard is not too far and that's a great place they have like a hot dog and um, bonfire on Friday nights for the kids and stuff like that and uh, shopping so yeah. oh yeah shopping like grocery shopping like Walmart yeah, um, Aldi. Oh yeah, everything was really convenient. It was right, right what, within seven minutes? a couple, yeah, a couple miles. Maybe seven minutes. Tons yeah. of restaurants, um, fast food. I mean, it is definitely you are not. Um, also, you're close to University of Illinois, so anyone who um, you know knows someone that goes there, sports inclined, um, you definitely have um, yeah. those activities as well. Yeah, it's a it's a foodie town too. There's a lot of uh, specialty little restaurants and things like that in Champaign and in Urbana, the sister city. So uh, great visit. You know, uh, when you think of central Illinois, you don't necessarily think that uh, you could spend a couple of weeks or a month there, but there's definitely a lot to do, a lot of uh, beautiful places to visit. Um, and this terrain, the surrounding terrain was surprising. It wasn't simply just cornfields and stuff like that. There was a variety with the parks and, the, and different things like that. So uh, if you get a chance, visit Champaign. It's a couple hours south of uh, Chicago, an hour and a half, two hours south of Chicago. And uh, we went from St. Louis to there and it was just a two or three hour drive to St. Louis. So. All right. We forgot one more thing. Tell we did the train thing. museum and the train oh, ride. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that was, was a lot cool. of fun. That was a fun little afternoon to ride the old historic train and um, go to the train museum and be able to look through all the train cars. And that was that was a really good time. Just that doesn't take very long, maybe an hour and a half to do the whole thing. Yeah. Um, you can make it longer. But that was a really that was a really fun time as well. Um, and D&W Lake Campground and RV. I got it right the first time. Yeah, highly definitely. recommend. Yeah, the rates are great too, which I don't think we mentioned. Oh, they were yes, fantastic rates. We're fantastic. not going to say what because they fluctuate, I'm sure. But it was it was a great rate for the you know the what you got there and so. the week we stayed. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll see you on the next video. All right. Bye bye.